Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. I'm coming to you from in front of the big ass toolbox at work and today I want to continue talking about LED lights for the toolbox. Uh, recently I talked about adding uh, my ground effects lighting down here and that set of lights came with two strings. Um, it was 32 feet total so there was two strings of 16 feet. And here's one of them right here. And I want to add that to the triple rack. Now it's dark in there. I don't think these lights are going to really do anything as far as, you know, um, making it easier for me to see the sizes on the tools or anything like that. The panels, you know, they'll slide out like this. And. I mean, there's enough light in the shop that I can see what's going on. Really, I think all we're going to get out of this deal is a little bit of, uh, well, you know, like the ground effects. Just a bunch of fluff. So, the plan, well, let me, let me back up a little bit. i got to modify my plan because, you know, I was thinking what I would do is I'd put them lights so they were directly behind let me turn this light on here and get some light in here directly behind the panel so when it was closed maybe we'd see a glow of light back there but we couldn't actually see the the diode itself and I don't trust the tape on these lights to stick to that back wall now the lighting that I used, you know, under here, all along the top, all inside of here, that used 3M tape. Well, I think 3M tape's the best tape available, and that's been going on a year now that I've installed this, and not in not one spot have I had it come loose. Not one. Um, it was only a couple weeks ago that I installed this brand of lighting underneath the toolbox and um, it's already it's already fallen apart you know I guess I'm not gonna say you get what you pay for because both the kits were cheap but it's just something to look for you know 3M tape must be quality tape because it sticks a whole lot better than Whatever this was, it, I mean, it does say non-waterproof on here. Are they talking about the tape or the, the electronics? I don't know. Um, but this isn't getting water on it either way, so that's really not a factor. So what my plan is, I'm going to take some of this, uh, well, I'm either going to use carpet tape or this indoor scotch mount double-sided mounting tape and I'm gonna run from right here up across down across and back up to here and out and then I'll be able to get to this plug right here because there's a hole in the back of the toolbox right there and at uh, the 16 feet that I have available I think I'll just be able to make that and I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little ballsy here I'm not gonna measure anything I'm just gonna assume that 16 feet really means 16 feet and I should be able to I should be able to just start here on the far end and make it to the connector. Wish me luck. Oh, by the way, the fact that that tape does not stick after only a few weeks. DEFCON 5. DEFCON 5 for sure. So now I've got the two-sided tape in the pattern that I want to follow with my LED light strip. 
and then I'll go right out that little hole right there that I made. But as I got ready to peel this blue backing off the tape, it actually started pulling the tape, the adhesive part, off of the light strip. Luckily I caught what was going on here and I was able to kind of restart right here. And I don't know. Yeah, not too happy with this product so far. We'll see how it looks when I'm done. I've got the LED light strips installed in a triple rack, so let's take a look at what I got going on here. First we'll look in the hutch, and you can see where the LED strip comes through the back of the hutch, and it's connected to this module back here. I've got it taped, the connection taped together, because they're not really great connections. And this is the little eye that you have to aim the remote at line of sight in order to put this to work. So I got my blue glow down here and now I've got a blue glow inside the triple rack and from right here it doesn't really look that bad it's kind of got that you know gaming computer look you know but it's all a lie to be honest with you this was an epic fail and my official rating of these lights and my insulation is and I'll show you why. This really doesn't look that bad and I knew it was gonna be limited on how much it was gonna light it up. But The fact of the matter is I'm cheating. Right now I've got all the slides pulled out a couple inches. You can see when I push them in and the back of the slides covers up the strips it blocks off a bulk of the light now I mean I, I don't know I mean I, if I want to see the lights I guess I just pull the drawers out a little bit one, one thing these lights do for me if you just totally eliminate the cool factor which is eh, uh, they allow me to look down in there and if I drop something, I can see it. Otherwise, it was like a black hole back there. So, I don't know. You decide. Is it, uh, you know, from here, it doesn't look that bad through the camera lens. We'll see how it comes off on video. I don't think I'm going to redo it. I mean, I could move the lights around and try different things in there, but... I don't think it's worth it. Uh, I have to go back and and uh, tie up all the tape that is sagging underneath the box. I'm just hoping that the tape I used in here is going to hold. I mean, we're just going to live with it for a little bit and see how it holds up. And then we'll decide. So that's all I have for you on the LED lighting strips in the triple rack. Thanks for watching. Later.